Hello YouTubers, um, welcome to Townsville once again, an exciting vlog today. We're going to be test flying this uh, Vitsa radio control plane, it's a bit of this and a bit of that. It's um, in the back, it's um, missing bits, but I'm, I'm hoping it'll fly. Hey Harry, do you reckon it'll fly? Yeah, I reckon it'll, just about. Yeah. about. yeah, we'll give it a crack anyway. Um, so we're just driving out of town so that we're not within the uh, the flying area, the airport and whatever. There's a bit of a story behind this plane. Um, we've got spare parts out of the out of the um, shed and just put put it all together using different parts out of the shed. <laughs> so it's a bit of a project for Harrison and I. We'll see how we go. Um, but without further ado, we have to um, put our safety glasses on for all test flights so there we go so we'll see you out of the uh, airfield in a second bye the aileron extensions that we put on we didn't sticky tape them we just glued but we need some sticky tape and I thought oh Elsie can you get me some duct tape and she said yeah sure dad here's some duct tape so there we go some duct tape and then we'll put that on there there you go Harry beautiful nothing like good duct tape Right here we are at the field, um, down at Alice Creek or something, Alice River, outside of Townsville. Um, been looking at the charts, the aero charts, um, just where the controlled airspace is and where we can fly. So we're out here, which is outside of the control space area, but we're going to still stay below 120 meters, which is way too high anyway. Um, all right, here's the beast. Now we haven't even got a hoodie for the top. This is just an engine that was lying around, electric one with a prop. This is a wing that we um, we salvaged from a glider I had years ago, and we just um, sort of recovered it. We made extra big. This is one of the modifications we've done. We've done like bigger ailerons because we didn't have much authority because it's such a big wing. Test or flight check. Pre, whoops, didn't need that. Pre flight check. Um, I better put this elevator thing on, um, otherwise it won't go anywhere. There we go. That's on, Bob Girani. There we go. Got their speed controller, bit of wheels, I don't know, handing wheels. Just check the center of gravity when we put it together. And the controller on. We've got this fella here, it's called, is it on? Yeah. Oh. This is um, the DX18, 18 channels to work with. Um, yeah, anyway, that should do the trick. I'm using two batteries because I didn't want to buy any more batteries. I just wanted to keep the cost down to barely nothing. Yeah, so two batteries to get me up to around the 3,600 milliamp hours. Just put some rubber bands in there to hold it in. Like that, nothing special. Warts and all on this one. Nothing fancy. Just having fun. That's what it's about. Check. Okay, center of gravity is good. Um, test ailerons and elevator. Yeah, can you do a flight control test, Harry? Just do a throttle check there. Full throttle. And off. Beautiful. Now let's test this. Yep, that's nice and tight. Ready to go. Okay, here we go. All ready to rock and roll. Um, getting a bit nervous now because I don't want her to come down in a thousand bits. Anyway, we'll see how she flies. And then hopefully Harrison will get to have a fly. All right. Here we go. Let's see if there's enough power in this thing. Ah!
look at that. Lovely. Hey, can I? Oh. Let's go get it, Harry. I'm a bit stuck in the grass. Um, bogged in the grass. A bit bogged, yeah, bogged. All right, so there you go. Um, the bits of this and bits of that plane um, flew really well, and it's fun. It's um, so much fun. So, yeah, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, or if you want to see more of this bits of this and bits of that sort of stuff that we got laying around the shed. Um, and let us know what you want to build for basically nothing. I think we paid 20 bucks for the 20 bucks for the um, covering, about 10 bucks for glue, um, about five dollars for the motor, and then um, like two dollars for the um, prop. Two dollars. Oh yeah, two dollars for the prop. Um, the most expensive part, I guess, is the transmitter and receiver. But you don't have to go out and spend thousands of dollars on this gear. You can just get cheap, cheap like thirty dollar stuff off Hobby King. Um, but yeah, it's it's really good. Um, anyway, hope you like it. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.